Hi everybody, uh, 415 on a Sunday. Uh, a quick update, no big changes to my forecast from when I talked to you last time. Uh, this is the ODOT camera up at government camp. That's everybody coming home from a what I assume was a chilly but successful day on the slopes with fresh snow, 28 degrees. The temperature at government camp at 4 in the afternoon. And this is my ski forecast page. Again, this YouTube page is linked to the weather site that I own and operate, portlandweather.com. If you search Portland Weather in your app store, Android and iPhone, it's easy to find us. We're one of the first ones, and then you can download it. But uh, I hope in between these reports, you'll use my weather site for my forecast. Um, okay, I just updated this. Timberlines picked up 12 inches of snow going back to last evening. Meadows 10 and Ski Bowl 11. So that's great news. Temperatures are in the 20s up there. Um, and there's more snow to come, maybe another foot up there tomorrow. And by the way, um, and I wrote about this on my coast page, starting tomorrow or overnight tonight, actually, the snow level plummets down closer to 1,000 feet. And that means there could be three, four, five, six inches of snow tomorrow, Monday, over the coast range passes. There could be some snow showers, although at low elevations in the gorge, not really looking for accumulations, but temperatures will be near freezing. The Hood River tonight into Monday morning, that could be a snow shower as well as this air continues to get colder and colder as it drops down. The last time I talked to you, I highlighted this article that I posted the other day. This is under my weather headlines link on my weather site, portlandweather.com, if you want to read it. And basically, you know, this image just highlights this cold air mass. It's coming down from the Arctic and northern Canada. Then we feed off of this with east winds developing Tuesday and we get some potential record low temperatures. So again, I talked about that in the last video. I do want to look at the, the radar real quick. So today was, if you were around and looked out the window, you likely saw some sun and then some showers, some sun, then some showers. On the radar right now, you can see the scattered activity. It's very possible that we won't have the sun tomorrow, that Monday's more cloudy with occasional rain coming through. You can see there's quite a bit of scattered shower activity on the wider northwest radar right there. And I'm just going to go ahead and get to my seven day because, again, I don't have a lot of new information. We will become increasingly unstable. As the air mass gets colder tomorrow, the air mass gets more unstable. So that means some scattered downpours, a better chance of finding something like that. Hail showers, I think, absolutely tomorrow. And the snow level is lowering down to 1,200 feet or close to 1,000 feet. Uh, and then we have the precipitation into early evening. Early evening Monday, I think the precipitation shuts off quickly. And then the east winds develop quickly. And then if we clear out, which we may, we may or may not, but we may going into Tuesday morning, we'll see temperatures well down in the 20s. So keep in mind, like 26 Tuesday morning could be closer to 20 where you live, depending on how strong the winds are. Remember, east winds, once they start blowing, they make it more difficult to get really cold temperature-wise, but they also limit the daytime high. So 36 Tuesday, Here's Wednesday, 21 degrees with calmer east winds. And maybe you're in the upper teens at your place. So high temperature again, likely only about 38. We're in the grip of this cold air mass. Tuesday's a windy day where east winds are blowing and gusting to 30 or better for most of us. Wednesday, away from the gorge, the winds get calmer. Beautiful sunshine. Thursday, we start to moderate and pull out of the grips of the main cold air. So the air mass starts to moderate and kind of mix with more of a Pacific air mass. Partly cloudy skies. After a chilly start in the 20s, we'll warm up to 44 degrees. Friday dry. At one point I was watching a chance of some moisture Thursday night, Friday, but now we're dry. The question mark here is Saturday. Some of the data says, yeah, Saturday's a rainy day. And believe it or not, other weather information we look at shows, no, the rain holds off and Saturday stays dry. Everything points to a rainy Sunday. And this would just be rain. There's no risk of any low-level snow here. It's all back to a Pacific flow pattern, 39 in the morning, 50 degrees in the afternoon. So that's what I have. Really the, the big question with the forecast is how cold will we go? There's certainly the potential that much of the valley, maybe all of the valley, at some point, especially Wednesday morning into Thursday morning, see low temperatures into the teens. Now, that's cold enough to make sure your outdoor uh, you know, uh, water hoses are, are, are unfastened or unscrewed from the home, and you start thinking about what you need to, to do to protect things from getting too cold. The only reason we would not be this cold is that east winds are really blowing, and they never allow the temperature to get down, let's say, past the mid-20s, okay? That's my update. I'll talk to you soon.